Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the yoga series and today we shall discuss Nichbhang Raj Yoga in Vedic Astrology or Nichbhang Yoga as they say. So this yoga is very much misunderstood like so many other yogas like uh, for example we have Sade Sati which is also misunderstood to be bad. Uh, and this niche bhanga is also not used properly. So today we will see how to practically use this niche bhanga, right? Because if somebody comes to you for a consultation or suppose you have this yoga in your horoscope and uh, suppose you come to me and I tell you that, oh, your Venus is getting niche bhanga from some planet like you know, Mercury. Uh, so then you are like, uh, okay, nice. But then... Um, what do I make out of it? I mean, how do I use it in my practical life? Uh, sometimes people, they tell that, oh, your Shani is bad. Your Surya is good. Your moon is okay, okay. But then the person thinks, how do I use these things in my practical life? Because ultimately, if we cannot use astrology in our practical life, it doesn't make sense to study, right? Or get a consultation from somebody. So, Therefore, we should always give the practical understanding. So, what is Nietzsche Bhanga basically? Nietzsche Bhanga means Nietzsche means debilitation as per Vedic astrology, and Bhanga means cancellation. Okay, so uh, the word Bhanga is used uh, in many different uh, ways actually. So, the word Bhanga literally does not mean cancellation, Bhanga means uh, when we think of cancellation, what do we think? We think, oh, there was something and then that was completely nullified. No, it's not like that actually. Uh, Nietzsche Bhanga means that a planet is in debility. Okay? It can be any planet. And then there is another planet which has come to help that planet, this debilitated planet. And that planet is helping this debilitated planet to... to uh, come out of the debility, not that the debility gets cancelled. So it is, it is like a person who is blind, cannot see. So it's like saying, suppose uh, I'm blind, I cannot see, uh, but my blindness stays uh, and simultaneously one person comes and uh, tells me that, oh, do you want to cross the road? I'll uh, help you. He or she catches my hand and then uh, takes me to the other side of the road. So this is exactly what a Nijpan Yoga is like. Okay, so this is on a theoretical context. Now, when does the planet get Nijpanga? Well, uh, there are many rules to this we shall discuss today. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want to watch uh, other astrology basic videos, you can get it in this playlist. And yes, if you want a consultation from me regarding your career or marriage, then please go to my website down in the description box. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Okay, so, so suppose let's take the example of uh, Mars. Suppose Mars is in debility. So where does Mars get debilitated? And here when we are saying debility, uh, let's ignore the degrees. Let's assume that a planet is debilitated in the entire uh, zodiac sign. Okay, let's assume like this. Although we need to check degrees when we talk of exaltation or debilitation, okay, but let's ignore the degrees for now because then it might get confusing for you. So, Mars gets debilitated in Cancer. So, you know that, right? So, whenever Mars is in Cancer, it is in debility, it is in Nietzsche Avastha. Uh, so, now when will the planet get Nietzsche Bhanga? Okay, so the first rule is. If the dispositor of that sign, where that planet gets debilitated, is sitting with Mars or aspecting Mars, then this debility gets cancelled. So now suppose anybody has Moon Mars in Cancer, then Moon who is the Lord of Cancer is sitting with Mars, so the debility is cancelled. Or Moon aspects Cancer, now Moon only aspects the seventh house. So where does it have to go if it has to aspect Cancer? Capricorn. So if somebody has a debilitated Mars and Moon is either in Cancer with Mars or it's in Capricorn, opposite, then also Moon aspects Cancer, which means that it aspects Mars, so the debility is cancelled. This is the beginning form of, uh, this is like level, uh, level, level two i would say okay 
but a better cancellation of the debility happens when the planet which gets exalted in that sign sits with that planet or aspects that planet so now who gets exalted in cancer i'm not saying where moon gets exalted i am saying in cancer where mars gets debilitated which is the other planet which gets which gets exalted you know it is jupiter so now if similarly jupiter and mars are sitting in cancer or jupiter is sitting in capricorn because jupiter will aspect cancer from capricorn or jupiter also has five nine aspect okay so that means jupiter can either be in cancer or capricorn or pisces or scorpio because if it is in pisces or scorpio it will still aspect cancer okay then this is called uh, niche phanga this is level 1 which means this is a better form of uh, niche phanga because um, this uh, because jupiter is more powerful in cancer than moon is in cancer although moon is uh, although cancer is the own sign of the moon okay so because he gets exalted there jupiter gets exalted there okay so yeah now there are other rules uh, rule uh, level 3 cancellation and level 4 so the first level as i said if the planet gets exalted that planet is helping or the planet which lords is helping that is level 2 level 3 is uh, if the lord of that sign so in this case mars is in cancer so if moon is in uh, kendra from the ascendant okay which means if it is in first house fourth house seventh house or tenth house from the ascendant then this debility also gets mitigated to some extent and there is level 4 uh, cancellation which is if this planet is in kendra not from the ascendant but from the moon okay so uh, let's take an example uh, if jupiter is in deb debility if jupiter gets debilitated when in capricorn now suppose you have a uh, moon in the second house okay and who is the lord of capricorn where jupiter gets debilitated and that is saturn now suppose if saturn is in the fifth house why i am saying fifth house because from the second house the fifth house is the fourth house it, it is a kendra actually so then also this debility gets cancelled or if saturn is in the first fourth seventh tenth from the ascendant then also the rule number 3 applies there okay so these are different levels of calculation a cancellation as i said or uh, this also applies to the planet uh, that gets exalted in that sign so for example as i said uh, if mars is in cancer and jupiter is in uh, 6th house and moon is in the 9th uh, house okay now moon and jupiter are in kendra to each other then also this debility can get cancelled but as i said the uh, the highest form of cancellation the best form of cancellation occurs when the exaltation sign planet is helping and it is um, it is aspecting that planet or it is with it okay uh, the other forms of cancellation also works but i have seen uh, this is the best form actually so now uh, how will you use this practically so uh, let's take the example of uh, scorpio lagna for example so scorpio lagna which is the 11th house for scorpio it is virgo number 6 okay so now suppose uh, somebody has uh, mercury venus in virgo for a scorpio lagna if you have mercury and venus conjoint in the sign of virgo in the 11th house okay so now what is happening venus is getting debilitated because it is in virgo and because virgo's lord is mercury and the planet which gets exalted in virgo is also mercury is with venus so the debility is getting cancelled so what does this mean how will you tell the person if the person asks you for client comes to you and asks okay my dear sir my venus is in debility but the debility is getting cancelled so should i laugh or should i cry or should i smile or should i jump or what should i do or should i just do nothing so you have to tell that person check which house has the debilitated planet rules first of all very important so which house is venus lords for scorpio venus lords the 7th house and the 12th house because 12th house is libra 7th house is taurus 
this planet is sitting in the 11th house of gains but it is in debility now this planet is getting a niche hunger from which planet from mercury mercury is which lord is the lord of the 11th house because he lords virgo also okay now that means he also lords the 8th house because gemini is also ruled by mercury and he is the 8th lord also so that means now the 7th lord and the 12th lord is getting niche hunger from the 8th lord and the 11th lord so let's try to understand this so 7th lord getting niche hunger from the 8th lord so what does this mean this means that whenever the marriage is in trouble 7th lord can show the marriage or married life or focus in married life okay or the event of wedding these are the things with the 7th lord can show when this is in trouble um, then the 8th lord is giving a niche hunger okay so the 8th lord can show the in laws okay so somebody from the in laws mercury as the 8th lord can show relatives from the sides of the in laws okay somebody who is younger to you or somebody who looks very young then his or her age and they are helping you out in the marriage so it is like your marriage is very bad maybe but because of uh, these people your marriage is uh, getting help and your marriage has become better but here's the catch you see mercury has two signs virgo and gemini out of them virgo is the higher octave of mercury so he's the, it's the exaltation and multricon sign so mercury is primarily the 11th lord then the 8th lord he is also the 8th lord but he's all primarily the 11th lord okay so 11th lord is the elder sibling so suppose you are married and your marriage is not working or suppose you are not able to get married then the 11th house is your elder sibling so if you have a elder brother or your elder sister they can help you out to get married they can suggest that hey i have this uh, so mercury represents friends so some friend of the younger brother or younger sister can suggest you a prospective match after which you can uh, decide if you want to marry or it can also happen that your friends can also help you because 11th lord mercury can show your own friends okay so this is all and the 12th lord will also be nurse so suppose you go to foreign lands then it is recommended that you uh, get help from your elder sibling's friend because they can help you they can help you to come out of this debility debility means lack of confidence or doing things which you should not do okay so uh if you feel that you are make, you are having to make some kind of a compromise then you should take guidance from the either the 8th lord or the 11th lord so this is how you have to analyze so whenever a planet which is getting debility is getting cancellation from a particular planet always check which house is that planet which is giving this cancellation is ruling so in this case venus is getting debilitated but the cancellation is happening from mercury the eighth lord and the eleventh lord so in laws and your elder sibling they can help you and the nature of the planet will tell you what kind of people they are so mercury as the eleventh lord can show your elder siblings friends okay if it is jupiter your elder siblings guru or guide can help you so this is how you have to see actually all right or if it is venus then your uh, elder sibling spouse can help you so this is how you have to check actually okay so this is how you use niche hunger okay and uh, many people th many times people think this is known as some raj yoga which means so suppose if there is niche hunger niche hunger yoga is there you will become a king no no it doesn't make you a king it cancels the debility so niche is like minus 100 so niche bhanga is like it brings you to zero okay and it will depend on the entire chart if that niche bhanga is good or bad for you sometimes the niche bhanga is bad for you sometimes the niche bhanga is good okay that will depend on where the flow of the horoscope is happening so for that you have to analyze the entire chart you cannot just say oh uh, this niche bhanga is happening uh, it's great actually okay so what if that niche bhanga is bad for you what is what if the debility is good for you okay so now how do you know if the debility is good or bad for you or that uh, niche bhanga is good or bad for you for that you have to check 
is that niche bhanga uh, speaking in line with the uh, overall flow of the horse with the life purpose so you have to check different things like ascendant lord sun moon and you have to check the karakas okay so for example if somebody seventh lord is in debility and getting niche bhanga you also have to check venus for a man because venus is the karaka for the spouse for a wife in a man's chart okay and uh, yeah so this is how you have to check so what is venus telling for that man whose venus is whose seventh lord is rehabilitated seventh lord can be anybody in in your case so in scorpio's case venus is also the seventh lord so it becomes more much more important actually okay so this is how you analyze and you practically tell the person that my dear sir my dear madam this is what it means to have niche bhanga so whenever you have this problem go and get a practical advice or suggestion from this person okay who is giving you this niche bhanga don't just whimsically say oh niche bhanga is happening everything is fine no you cannot help the person there's no that's useless to say like this because you need to ultimately the aim of astrology is to help somebody but i have seen in case of niche bhanga people don't explain all these things they will just say oh no no don't worry your saturn is getting niche bhanga it's done but then if saturn dasha comes and then the person is in trouble so then what does the person do so if you don't tell you have actually not uh done justice to the client all right so please help the client with real life scenarios rather than uh giving a uh, long astrological discourses so oh, your uh, you know shadbal is good your astak varga is nice blah 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 all these things because most of the general people who uh, will come to you for a consultation they will not understand okay even if they understand they will have half hearted understanding so don't give them a big lecture tell them practically what will happen in their life okay after analyzing the whole horoscope of course okay because sometimes the person may be super duper excited oh my uh, this planet is getting niche bhanga but then you may realize that this niche bhanga is not good for the person then you have to tell the person please be realistic don't jump because this niche bhanga can give you problems later on all right okay ladies and gentlemen thank you very much and if you want to watch other videos on debilitation and exaltation i'll put it here and if you want a consultation please go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new then please subscribe and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you know has a niche bhanga raj yoga thank you